Welcome to Connections. This week, Reverend Naomi reflects on what it's like to live with Jesus and his peace in our roller coaster lives. Dear friends and churchy family, greetings to you in the name of the risen Christ. We continue to hold in our thoughts and prayers all those who are in our hearts today. Life feels like a roller coaster. And I, I invite you to imagine the roller coaster, an image of a roller coaster. What is your first impression? What are the emotions that come to your mind? Have you ever been in a roller coaster? A few years ago, my family and friends visited the Autumn Towers Resort. I went in one of these rides and I guess a few others. I didn't like them at all. And I made a decision there and then that I would never ever go on this ride again. This is a decision I made and I stick to it to this day. Well, sometimes life feels like a roller coaster. But we don't have a choice whether to ride or not. Life comes with its lows and eyes, and we, we have to keep on going. Right now, the nation is going through the low moment of national uh, mourning for the loss of the Duke of Edinburgh and feeling the sorrow of his family. But at the same time, the nation is rejoicing for the easing of the lockdown restrictions as people are able to visit their favorite places. Life offers us a mo moment of joy, sorrow, despair, hope, and all kind of other emotional roller coaster that we go through. All the readings that are set for this week seem to portray all these kinds of emotions. And the readings that are guiding us are found in Act of Apostles, chapter 3, verses 12 to 19, Psalm 4, first letter of John 3, 1 to 7, Luke 24, 36 to 48. That is Act, chapter 3, 12 to 19, Psalm 4, first letter of John 3, 1 to 7, and Luke 24, verses 36 to 48. The psalmist turns the distressed caused by his enemies lies in lament as he prays for grace. He, however, focuses on the Lord in whom we trust. His faith opens his heart to God's light and joy, which brings peace and the safety he longs for. The psalmist kind of lays his troubles before God and exchanges them with God's peace and hope. In the act reading, we encounter the emotions of the beggar transformed from despair to joy and hope after the healing touch. Those who witnessed this transformation were filled with wonder and amazement. The onlookers were filled with utterly uh, uh, with uh, astonishment. The curiosity also opened an opportunity for Peter to proclaim about the recent Christ. Life's experiences offers us an opportunity to be witnesses. The Jonah writings are full of polar opposites, light and dark, sin and righteousness, communion and estrangement, us and the world. Language like this is mostly fueled by fear and it can drain the world of its color. In this letter, we sense the hostility that was in the community. In life's complex roller coaster, we often have saps of light, rays of light, we sense the love of God that allows us to be called children of God, 
and this become our hope and joy. Just imagine what was going through the minds of the two disciples that we meet in the gospel reading. The two and they just returned to Jerusalem after their walk to Emmaus and back. We can imagine the nature of acceleration and exhaustion. They were tired. Their conversation with Jesus on the, on the Emmaus road and brought some comfort, but it may have raised more questions. And that's why they returned to Jerusalem. Their emotions included shock, grief at Jesus' death, and the confusion and disbelief at the, despair, the disappearance of his body. However, as Jesus eats with them, these feelings give way to an expression of pure joy. When Jesus explains the scriptures to them, understanding of the truth about who he is. Knowing that the disciples experienced times of anxiety in the anjani of faith, can I encourage us to and offer an opportunity for us to be witnesses? It can help us to respond emotionally in, dif in different situations that we find ourselves in. This can also help us to have an op open mind to understand and help others who may be in distress to know the peace of Christ and to trust in his word. In all the appearances of the recent Christ to his disciples, he greeted them with these words, Peace be with you. Jesus indeed bring peace to the disciples, even though that wasn't their first reaction. How can Jesus bring peace to our situation today? The, re the reason Christ appeared to his followers to reassure and comfort them in the time of their fear, doubt, and despair. Like he came to them in the hour of their need, he will be at our side in times of our need in this life. His appearance and the assurance to us make us his witnesses so that we can bring the same assurance and comfort to the world around us. We bring this assurance to those who we encounter in this life through our prayers and our practical help. Witnessing by want and in breaking bread go hand in hand. In breaking and sharing with the others, we witness the presence of the risen Christ. In our prayers this week, we remember the royal family and all those who are grieving the loss of their loved ones. We remember those who have lost their jobs, their joy, their hope, their health, and those who are in despair. We pray for those who have never known the transformative power of love. Those who live in fear of what others may do to them. Those who have the strength to stand up to that which is wrong. Those who have the courage and the opportunity to speak out against injustices. Those who give themselves to help those in need. Those who want to make this world a better place. Those known to us who need our prayers at this time. And all these prayers, we presented them to the risen Christ. And as we go to another week, go as God's chosen witness to testify that Christ has been raised and that we are raised with him. Do not look for him among the dead, but as being glad and rejoicing in his salvation. And may God raise you from all that 
and turn it to an tomb you. May Christ Jesus call you by name and go ahead of you, and may the Holy Spirit empower you for all that is good. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.